Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to insert an image into AutoCAD and scale it so that it's roughly the correct size. So before we start this, an important point to note is that really you should keep all files that you want to associate, keep them together in a folder. So here I've got the AutoCAD drawing that I want to use and here is the image that I want to insert into it. So I've got the AutoCAD drawing open here um, and I have got my image file. I'll just minimize this. So I've got my image file here. So the difference between these two drawings is that on this image um, I have lots of levels which I know they're a little bit grainy but they'll be very useful when I insert them into this AutoCAD drawing for me to uh, factor in levels. So I want to insert the image into this drawing as quickly as possible and line things up so that um, the image lines up with the AutoCAD drawing. The first thing I'm going to do is I will create a new layer for the image. This allows you to um, turn off the layer should you should you need to. So I'm going to go to the create new layer. I'm going to call it raster. Uh, the reason that I call it raster is this is how AutoCAD refers to images. It calls them raster files. I'll give it a color here as well. So just pink. It's OK. And make it current. So I can close my layer property manager. Now I'm going to go to insert. I'm going to attach. And I'm going to browse for the image. So if I click here for sample image and I'm going to go to open. So AutoCAD launches the attach image dialog box. Um, there's a few queries here that AutoCAD wants to know. For example, it wants to know the path type, so we'll leave it at relative path. It also wants to know the scale. So if you don't know the scale, just leave this with a tick to say specify on screen, which is the case for this image. So then finally, the insertion point, and again, I don't have an XYZ insertion point, so I'm just going to specify that on screen. My rotation is set to zero. So I'm just essentially going to accept all of the defaults that it has given me. So I will OK that. So here's the thing when we're in certain images. It looks like nothing has changed, even though my beside my cursor it says specify insertion point. But where is my image? Now I haven't clicked yet since going to the insert attach option. But if I zoom into my cursor, so if I just zoom in, you'll actually see that the image is attached to my uh, cursor. Um, it's just really, really tiny. So be aware sometimes that although you think that the image might not have been inserted, that it is actually there. Um, keep the faith. So, how to insert. So I'm just going to click once to insert and you can see as I drag my mouse that I can drag to insert the image. So I'm going to insert it at about this height. I'm going to click with my mouse and you'll see that my image has inserted. So I'm just going to move it a little bit closer to um, the CAD drawing. So I'll go to my move tool, select the image, when working with images in AutoCAD, it's really important that whatever you do, if so, say for example, if you're using any of these edit tools, that if you go to move or copy or rotate, um, when it asks you to select the object, you have to select the outside edge of the object. Um, AutoCAD is not concerned with what's drawn on here, so if I was to try and select maybe the outer edge of the green area here, it doesn't see this as being a, a, an edge. As far as it's concerned, it's just an image. Um, and everything on the image has kind of the same value to it, um, so it disregards anything that's actually within this boundary. So it's the boundary you need to click on. So I'm going to go to move, I'm going to select the outside edge of the image, press enter to confirm, and then I'm just going to move it from here to here. Um, so to give you a rough idea of what we're looking at, this area um, of the image is this area up here and down here there is a roundabout down here which is this area down here. This is actually an important step in trying to line up images is to get to know your areas so roughly where does the image fit into the AutoCAD drawing that you're trying to create. Now you might notice that as I uh, scroll over this image, as my cursor travels over the white part of the uh, image, the cursor appears to disappear and this is because white on white will look like it disappears. Sometimes it can be a good idea to change the color of the cursor um, while you're uh, doing an operation like this. So to do that, we'll just put, type in the word options. This is just a very quick aside. Display colors 
Um, I am going to cross hairs and up here and I will change them to green. Applying close and OK that and now my cursor is green so now when I hover over I can see my cursor. So now what I want to do is I want to line up this image with this area over here. So another important factor on this is to choose two points of reference that are common to both the image and the AutoCAD drawing. So what I'm going to use is now I've looked at this so I know the two points I'm going to use so it would be important for you to do this using um, you know to study both the image and the CAD drawing and to find points that are common on both so I'm going to go with this tennis court that's down here and the same tennis court is repeated down here so if I zoom in a little bit I'm going to use this corner of the tennis court what we're looking for is we're kind of looking for sharp edges and um, I could use the center of the roundabout but I don't know if, if it would be kind of exact enough but the edge of a building or um, something like that it is not a good idea to use something like the edge of a river or the edge of woodlands or something like that because those edges they alter over time so but the edge of this tennis court so I'm going to use that as one point of reference and the second point of reference that I am going to use is let's have a look and see here so if this area is this area and then this court is this court so then this car park is this car park here so why don't I use the edge of this little building here which is the edge this it's this building here so now I've got my two points one further thing to remember when you're um, we're going to use the align command and one further thing to remember when you're using the align command is um, the align process works a lot better if you choose two points that are a good distance from each other and um, it produces a good result so now what I do is I type in the word align a l i g n and press enter so AutoCAD asks me to select objects so I want to align this object so I click on the outside edge of the object I'm going to press enter to confirm. I don't want to align this object because this object is already uh, correct in its correct position so I want to align this object so I'm going to press enter to confirm. So now it says specify first source point so I'm going to go back down my first source point will be the edge of the tennis court so if I click on this edge of the tennis court so if you have a look at the cursor it's now asking me my first destination point so the first destination point will be this edge of the tennis court down here so now it's saying specify second source point so which is um, the edge of this building up here so if I zoom in here and click on the edge of that building on the image and uh, I'm going to click on the corresponding edge here um, so the next thing AutoCAD is asking is specify third source point. Um, I don't have one and I don't need one in this case so I can just press enter to accept the default continue value so I'm going to press enter. So now it asks do you want to scale the object space on the alignment points. So what AutoCAD is asking you here is do you want to scale the image to match um, source and destination points. So I do so I'm going to press yes. And you will see here that it has moved the image in on top of the AutoCAD drawing. So what I need to do now is I want to move this image to the back so that you can see the um, the CAD lines. So if I again if I click on the outside edge uh, once I am going to right click on that. I want to go to draw order and I want to go to send to back. If I click on send to back so you'll see now that the, the, the image lines up with the CAD drawing and now I can use this image to um, get my spot heights. Thank you very much for watching.